Today's story is called The House on the Rock. One day, Jesus was speaking to a crowd, and he told them, If anyone hears my teaching and does what I say, it will be like a wise man who built his house on a rock. When the rains came and the streams grew and the winds beat against the house, it did not fall because it was built on the rock. But if anyone hears my teaching and does not do what I say, it's like a foolish man who built his house on sand. When the rains came down, the streams grew, and the winds beat against the house. It fell with a great crash because it was built on sand. You know, this is a pretty interesting story, but what is he talking about? Let's think about this for a second. If I step on a rock, what happens? Well, nothing happens to the rock, but something might happen to me. It might be painful to me. Sometimes it could even leave a bruise or a cut. That's because rocks aren't influenced by the things around them. But sand is different. What happens if I step on sand? Well, I leave a footprint. Or how about if I pour water on sand? Well, the sand will start to move. That's because sand is influenced by the things around it. God wants us not to be influenced by anything other than Him. And we won't be influenced by anything else if we build our life on Him and His Word. But when we build our life on other things, we become easily influenced by things around us, just like sand is. So before I explain this a little bit more, I want to say a quick thank you to each of you for watching this video. If you would consider subscribing to our channel, as well as liking this video, that would mean a bunch to us. Okay, let's get back to the good stuff. I met a man once who spent most of his life and time doing bad things with his friends. One day, he gave his life to Jesus, and he decided that day to build his life on Jesus. Later that week, after he had made that decision, his friends came over and asked him to do the same bad things that he had always done. And this time, he was able to stand up and tell them no. Instead, he even asked them to come and join him, learning about Jesus. Two of them joined him that day. People who follow Jesus are not only able to stand firm through bad things, they're able to influence others to do good things. But there's one more interesting thing. Sand is actually made from rocks. Sand is tiny little pieces of rocks that are broken apart. So guess what? If we take just a piece of Jesus' teaching, but forget the rest, our house still won't stand. We need to follow everything he says, but that's really hard. Jesus tells us to forgive people that hurt us and even to love our enemies. Those are some of the hardest things in the world to do. But the coolest thing is that he promises he will be with us. So if we decide to follow Jesus, he will become our rock and he will always help us when hard times come. So how about you? What are you going to build your life on? On sand or on the rock?